Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we are going to see the interval time formatting function. So for that what do I have is a quick question which is let's say you are doing uh, some expression the time based expression based on some manipulation that you are doing on the timestamp based field and what you are getting is an output of 0.37 or 0.40 or 0.45 whatever that may be. Now you want to know that what does this 0.37 result as a time as per the formatted timestamp. For example, whether it is 6 a.m., 6.30, 7, 7.45, what, what timestamp it is in a properly formatted time. So how we can do that is by using the interval function. So what do I do is basically just take a quick KPI, add a measure and in the expression editor, what I'll mention is not the time, sorry interval and 0.37 click apply so what it results 0.37 interval 0.37 is basically resulting into something which is 8:52:48 a.m. so that's basically the exact time uh, based on some calculation output that you are having for which the result is 0.37 so another thing which I want to show you is that uh, what if if the output is something like 1.37 in that case it is basically 32 hours 52 minutes and 48 but that's not how it should be written right because then it is like surpassing 24 hours which is one day. So in that case you can mention a different formatting which is different from the default formatting. So for that what you can do is if this is the output uh, that you are getting then you can mention the formatting some, something like D which is indicating day whether it is day 1, day 2, day 3 whatever day it is and then hour and minute alright now let's click apply and what you get is uh, 1 day 8 hour 52 minute so that's basically the main activity or main functionality of the interval function which helps us give the output of an expression which can result into something like uh, a normal integer extra uh, the expression and we want to convert it into something like a properly formatted timestamp so if that is what your requirement interval is your function which you need to use so that's about it in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic